Hey guys, Bailey 101 here, and welcome to a new Top 10 video. We're kicking off the start of Mega Man May on the channel here with a countdown of my Top 10 favorite Mega Man X series music tracks. Now please keep in mind that this list is entirely opinionated, and there'll also be a lot of spoilers for the X series here, so if you don't want to ruin the games for yourself, you'd best leave now. And bear in mind that the Mega Man X series has a ridiculous amount of good tracks. This is by far the hardest Top 10 list I've ever made. Seriously, I was racking my brain for two days trying to trim down a list of roughly 20 tracks to just 10. It was extremely painful. I had to cut out quite a few of my favorite tracks to make this list, and my god, did it hurt. Now, if you hadn't noticed, the track that's currently playing, that's Storm Eagle's theme. Yep, Storm Eagle is not on this list, but I am including it as an honorable mention since it was the very last track I cut out of my list. I'm sure a bunch of you won't agree with my choices here, but hey, it's all opinion-based, and if you don't like it, go watch something else. Now, I'm also going to be giving some sort of analysis on each piece as well. Why I think it fits, what it represents, why I like it, that sort of thing. But let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into number 10. We're starting off with this absolutely beautiful track here at number 10. X's theme, otherwise known as Variable X, plays only twice throughout the entire course of the first X series game. The first time we hear it is after Vile gets done laying Smackdown on X, and Zero comes in and saves the day. The track gives a sense of helplessness and uncertainty, which X has about himself in his strength. He's not sure he's capable of fighting for the peace that he so desires, and yet Zero reassures him that if he keeps trying, that he'll become stronger and can put an end to save his scheme. The second time we hear this track is way at the end of the game, in Sigma's Fortress 1. Vile shows up again, and Zero pops in to take him on and settle that unfinished business from the start of the game. After going full kamikaze on Vile's right arm, and you exacting your revenge on him for basically making your best friend kill himself, you run over to his side in his last moments. The roles have been completely reversed now. No longer is it Zero that's protecting X, but X proving to Zero that he's stronger than he realized, and that he could put an end to Sigma. Variable X truly represents X in the sense that he has unlimited potential, and can evolve and grow stronger to defeat any adversary, and that's why this track made the list. Number 9 Hey, Zero's got his own theme too, you know, and man, is it kick-ass. Is there really anything to be said about this track? It's Zero's theme, and we already know how much of a badass Zero is. In his first appearance ever, he can blow his vile right arm his arm clean off, dashes onto the screen like a fucking boss, and scares Vile off like the little bitch he is. Seriously, how can I say anything more? Zero's theme is badass, pure and simple. Number 8. Now we skip ahead two games to Mega Man X3. This song plays near the end game in Dr. Doppler's Fortress 1. The feeling of excitement I get from this track makes me eager to run through the level as fast as possible. It's sort of lighthearted in a way, but it makes the level feel more fast paced and exciting. I mean, how can you not be having fun when you're blasting enemies and air dashing your way through the level of this kind of music playing? It's just so good! Number 7! Let's just back up a bit to X2 for a minute here. Now, if you're not familiar with the plot of Mega Man X2, basically, there's a few new bad guys in town, and they're calling themselves the X Hunters. Their main objective is to destroy X, of course, but they decide to place a little wager as well. If X can defeat the three of them, they'll hand over Zero's parts that they stole from where Zero blew himself to smithereens in Mega Man X. If you fail to recover all the parts, Zero will be rebuilt, but he's working for Sigma this time, and you have to fight him. Now, this is where things get crazy. This theme, this battle, it's the most intense thing the series has seen thus far. Zero's X2 theme is a perfect representation of how relentless Zero is when he's battling. He's going all out in this fight, blasting and slashing at you with his buster and newly acquired Z-Saber, throwing things out of the ground at you, and all around just trying to wreck your face. The intensity of the music we hear during this battle makes it all the more fun and exciting. I mean, you're fighting Zero! Although the ending of the battle is kind of anticlimactic, with Zero suddenly regaining control of himself, at least you got some kick-ass music, right? Number 6. Boomer Kawanger's level is really long and annoying, but man, does that music make up for it. The intense bass line and dramatic tension this track builds as you scale the tower to fight Kawanger is just unreal. I always say Boomer Kawanger is one of the last Mavericks I fight, and not only because I go in weakness order, but because the music in this stage makes it really exciting to climb all the way up the tower, rolling shield up, destroying everything in my path. Seriously, rolling shield makes this level a joke. But to have such an amazing theme, the boss battle is a bit underwhelming. Although they remixed it pretty well in the remake Mapper Hunter X. Number 7. 
number five. I can never just turn on Mega Man X and just play. I have to rock out to the title screen music every single time. It's just so intense it gets me absolutely psyched to jump right into the game. In fact, I spend so long enjoying the music that it goes into the demo play before I can press start. It's just that good. Number 4 Ah yes, the Central Highway, the first instance of an intro stage in the Mega Man franchise. From the title screen, jumping straight into a new game, the music doesn't stop being awesome. And just look at the level itself. It's a collapsing bridge and you're blasting everything in your path to get to the end of it. And have you heard the remix from the remix? It's even more badass than it was before. Seriously, I can't get enough of this one. Number 3 And here's my favorite Maverick from the original X game. Sting Chameleon's level is really fun, and not only because there's a lot of uneven terrain to explore and jump on, the music in this stage feels exciting, wild, and fast-paced. As much as I want to race through the level and put the beat down on the last fabric I have left to defeat, I always end up taking my time because of the music. God, I love this theme! Number 2 Now let's jump way ahead to X8, the very last installment in the X series. Do you hear this music right now? Luminae's final battle theme is just incredible. The speed of the electric guitars, the intensity, this is it. This is the final battle, not only in the game, but in the entire X series. I know that the series started to go downhill after X5, but man, did they do something right with X8. What a great theme for a final boss. And yet, this is only number two on my list. What could be better than this, you ask? Well, number one. Ah yes, the climactic battle between X and Zero towards the end of X5. This was Mega Man creator Keiji Inafune's intended last game for the X series, and man did they choose an amazing theme for these two to duke it out to. The first time I heard this song, it hit me like a truck. This was it. Two best friends who've been through so much together, who would defend the other with their own life, now forced to fight, believing that the other would go maverick having been infected by the Zero virus. Two friends, unable to escape their ultimate destiny to destroy each other just as their creators had intended. This theme is amazing and absolutely perfect for this battle. It has a feeling of power and aggression, that of which we can equate to Zero in his fighting capabilities. But there are also the soft undertones to give it a sense of hesitance, which we can view as X's pacifist nature. X would do anything to not have to fight his friend, but he's willing to go to any length necessary to save him. Zero, on the other hand, being more rash, doesn't hesitate to fight to prove that he doesn't need saving. To prove to X that the virus won't ever take him. But despite all of this, they still fight. There are multiple endings to this fight depending on whether you're playing with X or Zero, but the resulting events are still the same. But without a doubt, this is my favorite track in the entire Mega Man X series, and I hope it's yours too. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like and a favorite would be awesome. And hey, why not subscribe too? I'm going to be putting out some more stuff for Mega Man May, so why not hang around for a while? Until next time, bye guys!